Comcast. 39 seconds of two logos. In case you confused it with Bristol, Alabama. I have a buddy that used to work in an English pub and one day he called me and said, this violent night movie and its unrealistic representation of my profession. Christmas Eve is a huge night and this pub should be filled to capacity with sticky feet and stickier bar tops. And then he just hung up. This happens to me exactly as often as you think it does. This is my uh, fourth year as a Santa. Dedicating none of those four years to growing an appropriate length beard. It's part of Santa's lore that he's hella strong. Well, I can't stand seeing another Santa in distress. <clears throat> Put his drinks on my tab. I don't think subsidizing his alcoholism is the fix you think it is. Aye! That door leads to the roof! Don't be mad at him. What dumbass menace to society puts an unlocked door to the fing roof within figurative and literal stumbling distance of the bar? Are you trying to kill the English? Are the reviews for this pub like two out of five stars would be higher, but my drunk husband shattered his spine because they have an unlocked door to the roof? This is insane! Bruce Almighty called and he would like his moon back, you Stop showing people puking in movies. In case you confused it with Greenwich Mean Time. Either he thinks the contents of his bag have been switched without his knowledge, or someone really wants us, the audience, to know what's in here and that it's important to the plot. He got to stay up late and watch Home Alone. Thinking that name dropping Home Alone in the first five minutes will give your movie a free pass when you choose to Home Alone some shit later. You're still copying someone else's homework and presenting it as your own, and I'd much rather you lied and said the dog ate your movie. Thank you for doing this. I'm not doing it for you. Talking like this in front of your kid who can totally understand everything and all the subtext. Parents, be less bitter or get better at disguising your conversational shorthand. Merry Christmas, Al. This is not the Al I'm looking for. Please die harder next time. I need a drink. Teaching your kids that needing a drink is all part of being a grown-up and is a totally normal way to deal with awkward social situations. I mean, it is normal, but we should at least pretend it isn't. Okay, I'm behind. Catch me up on all the hot goss. She said, hey, could you give the audience a breakdown of the main characters, strangely? Well, you remember Bert, my sister's pride and joy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the Bert Locker. And he has incredible timing. He's able to sum up his most annoying traits without even realizing someone is setting him up to do so. Hashtag blessed. Kiss me in front of my son. This might be the moment where the movie lost me because instead of aping a rich family and their weirdness, it goes straight over the top with this woman and kills the humor. Don't sh in my mouth and tell me it's chocolate cake. In a world full of perfectly good metaphors, movie had to go and invent a new one that could also double as a substitute for Ipecac. Also, this movie is proof that hiring an older A-list actor and having them spew obscenities in a small role is not a guaranteed recipe for success. A lesson the Suicide King should have taught everyone. Oh, but... You named your son Bertrude. Sorry, Bert, but that's not a real name. Listen, name snob, no names are real names. They're all made up. Where do you think the real names are coming from, Linda? Oh yeah, I forgot all about this angry Santa. It's not a great sign, actually. Oh no, Santa has been replaced by Amazon. Santa's gonna have to offer free shipping and maybe even more to get that business back. But also, what kind of evil f***ing parents buy gifts from Amazon and don't even bother to wrap them before putting them under the tree, sh Amazon even offers to wrap this sh up for you. Santa is dismayed at this kid's list that has five instances of cash and then video games, and it's the movie saying Santa doesn't know what I want until he arrives at my house? Because I thought he got a look at my list ahead of time due to magic, and that's how he knew what to put on the sleigh, and this movie is f***ing with my childhood! I'm all for pissing on Washington, D.C., and judging by his position, he is mostly pissing on the Capitol building. Bonus points, but the problem is that his total amount of piss is so small, it will disintegrate, disperse, or otherwise not do the territorial damage he might be hoping for. Also, f*** this movie is ripping off Bad Santa almost no matter where it goes from here. But most definitely if it ends up with this Santa doing anal with a hot lady in a mall dressing room. Stealing! This house has so many chimneys. <laughs> How will Santa know which one to come down? Trudy would be excellent at Santa Claus since. Daddy never took me to see Santa at the mall this year. I never got to tell Santa what I wanted for Christmas. Bringing this up now on Christmas Eve instead of at a point when something could have been done about it. This is some poor planning on Trudy's part too. What you got right there is a direct hotline of Santa Claus himself. We all know how f***ed up it is that we lie to kids about Santa, but it's one of those weird lines that's somehow acceptable. But what's doubly f***ed up is taking that line, compounding it by inventing a fake Santa hotline to make you feel better about not taking her to see fake Santa in the mall. So we can be a family again. How about we teach the kids watching that families come in all sorts of shapes and sizes? Wait, isn't this R-rated? Kids shouldn't be watching this at all, so why are you wasting my time with family drama bullshit? As Santa enjoys liquor, a cookie, and a massage chair, I have to wonder if the people of the world have lost their sense of hearing or stopped installing motion sensor cameras. And if you... Grandma! Your Wi-Fi sucks d Okay, there might have been a disruption, but wouldn't his phone have switched over to cellular data immediately? And don't you tell me that this phone is f 
Wi-Fi only. This kid probably held a cell phone before he held a parent that loved him. Merry Christmas. Or should I say happy holidays now, right? I mean, it's like people make up your mind. This tight five trope about people being offended by Merry Christmas belongs in 2002 and nowhere near the talented mouth of John Leguizamo. Trudy loves seeing Santa at the mall. Well, Trudy has bad taste. He literally fell asleep in this f***ing massage chair, so does getting caught just not matter to him? He's either got to be fine with convincing them he's Santa or just be okay with getting shot as a burglar. You can call me Mr. Scrooge. Hilarious. Get him. See, now the problem here is that you appear to have purchased one of those guns that require you to fully extend your arm and run at the target before it allows you to shoot. You see them in the movies everywhere, but never on the winning side. Bringing a gun to a truncheon fight and losing. These two are making a whole load of ruckus right now and none of the other goons are coming to investigate? They've unloaded two entire clips from that rifle and no one thinks to check on what's going down. Violent night. Roll credits. Somehow the armed takeover of a group of mega rich assholes will reignite Santa's conscience after a night of him stealing and literally pissing on earth. Listen here, Santa Yaga. Don't you dare go back in there because of a f***ing cookie. Don't you do it. You don't even know who made that cookie. Could have been anyone. And would they be f if they hadn't made you a cookie at all? Fine, go back in, but don't make it about this f***ing cookie. I even know their credit ratings and their d*** sizes. I get you're trying to do a knowledge flex here, but why would you need to know about their credit ratings or d*** sizes in order to kill them? I'm not sure dick size is information that can definitely be collected. You have 300 million in US dollars sitting in your personal vault downstairs. 300 million that the US government gave Lightstone to quietly distribute in the Middle East to all the worst people. I already don't care about any of these people, but if the Lightstones were doing shady dealings in the Middle East, how am I not supposed to start rooting for discount Hans Gruber and the sugar plum ghost? You're gonna wanna see this. You better come take a look at this cliche. Hello? Santa? None of the goons see this. Or if they do, they don't seem to give a shit about it. Kind of appreciate that Santa is pretty shitty at fighting. It's much more fun than if he were suddenly a kung fu genius or something. I'm not taking a sin off or anything because the movie could just as easily have been called Santa Survives This. <laughs> okay, now I'll remove a sin. Hello? Santa? These henchmen are worthless. I hope I'm not bothering you. Looks like Jason paid extra and got the good walkie-talkies that only exist in movies and makes that handy static noise whenever you press the talk button. Trudy's on the nice list because she invited a weird kid to her party. And I'd like to know what kind of shitty magic gets to judge which kids are weird or not. I'm in a big room with all my relatives. How does no one notice she's having a walkie-talkie conversation? Yeah, she has an earbud in, but she is still speaking at a relatively normal volume. This might be the most in-your-face Dutch angle I've ever seen. And it's not really serving a purpose here. As we already know, this is the ultimate bad guy. No perspective about a character has changed due to this shot. He got a star in his face and his head caught on fire. It's a long story. It is not. That is the entire story. What is it that you want exactly, Santa? And I want to find my reindeer and I want to continue delivering my presents. Santa delivers this request completely earnestly, as if people are supposed to understand that he is the real Santa. Like, what does he expect the reaction to be here? Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, family whose names I've forgotten. About 10 minutes from now, he'll have completely forgotten about this injury and will act like it didn't happen at all. Okay, candy cane. Stick one of his Bozaks in there. Oh. Movie thinks that because we just watched a finger get broken, we'll believe we're also about to see a scrambled testicle. However, with regards to the sin counter, bailing on this was the best choice the movie could have made. Somehow, this well-oiled mercenary team lets a little girl escape their control inside less than half an hour of those mercenaries arriving. Santa's about to sew his own wound shut, and I'm just gonna sin it and skip it. Christmas magic. I'm not really sure how it works. This is not the get out of explaining how any of the weird shit that's happening here works free pass that the movie thinks it is. Making a little girl fly. Giving you a kite floating just beneath the clouds. It's about as good as it gets. Santa thinks that flying a kite is as close to flying as it gets. Santa clearly didn't think about those cool boots with springs on them. Remote control drones or a literal ticket on an airplane. I get die hard but with Santa as a pitch, but do we really need the poignant radio conversations from that movie as well? And the taunting of the villain over the radio? If somebody goes yippee ki yay, I'm gonna get upset. She reads the note, which is clearly some serious sh**, but then smiles and thanks Jason for the card. And I'm actually sitting Jason here because if you want to make some kind of standing up to mother statement at Christmas once and for all, why do it with a note like a chump? Now we have the untrustworthy snowmobilers from Die Hard 2. <laughs> this is 100% on you, dipshit. You were just in a room filled with a variety of bludgeoning weapons, but decided to wait until the last possible second to find a weapon. And then you chose f***ing 
tinsel. Scrooge appears to have come up with the blow up the fire extinguisher plan before he could have possibly known there was a door between him and Santa. He's not even armed. This bag is the only thing he had on him. What's in there? Apparently Candy Cane confidently declared Santa's lack of weaponry before checking the giant f***ing sack he has with him. Why do you tie the guy killing your men up with Christmas lights instead of just f***ing killing him? What the f*** is this? This is a two by two foot grate between the house and the attic and there's no duct or anything. Go around your house and look up and tell me how many of you have grates in your ceiling that are just open to the attic. I'll wait. Now, I know you're an idiot, but don't be an idiot out loud. Thing my college girlfriend said to me every time we went out in public somehow makes it into the script. And then when I was, I don't know, 10, 11, he got laid off in that Christmas. Couldn't even afford a tree. We're getting an origin story for him too? Jesus Kringle. Remember all the backstory we had for Hans Gruber? Nope. Me either. He was intimidating as shit, and it wasn't because he told us about his disappointing preteen years. Also, do we really need the movie's villain to have a personal grudge against Christmas? Can't he just be trying to steal some shit on Christmas? Okay, how does he know about my bike? It's a lucky guess, like, hey, do you like big t Putting aside a variable quantity of mammary mass people prefer, Santa also knows some strange specifics, like your names. Let it snow! What the fuck is going on here? Is this an AC unit inside the attic with ducts that lead directly to and only to the room below her? Does the screenwriter know that AC units don't pull air from the outside of them and then take it into the house? Well, you see one weird thing and then you think you're in a fairy tale. The script is absolutely forcing Scrooge to ignore obvious evidence in order to stand pat on his vehemence that Santa is not Santa. The list of crimes that put these guys on the naughty list makes me wonder how they passed any sort of background checks to be working for the Lightstones in the first place. Hey, Thorpe, you're 10 minutes late. What kept you? The script. There's honestly no other reason for them to be late. My intel was rock solid. He says inside the giant empty vault. 300 million in cash was delivered here yesterday to this f***ing mansion. Somebody must have intercepted it. Intercepted it? You literally just said... They had guys on the inside. How did they not let you know about this supposed interception? They're right outside. Santa has stop. Hammer time for this. Also, I'm glad Santa now has a hammer again like he did when he was Nicodemus the Bloody or whatever the f*** his name was. But that ancient warrior guy never had to contend with fully automatic assault rifles. So Santa's gonna get shot. Yeah, here's the problem. He takes out two separate dudes over a few seconds and none of the remaining alive dudes start firing their guns wildly, which is what they would do in reality. I was planning to take the money and leave with my wife and daughter tonight and never come back here. My mom would uh, read the note with her whiskey in the morning and know what I had done. I was waiting for some further steps to this plan, but they never arrived. This is his entire plan. Steal money, admit to stealing money, live life. How the f*** was he expected to get away with stealing $300 million from his family? For years, I have been telling you to stop caring about your mother's f***ing money. Doesn't seem like he ever got the message, and now I'm glad you divorced him. What are we doing here, huh? Family therapy or doing eyes? I am begging to know the answer to this question. This booby trap works, but only because he falls in a very specific way, as if he too was excited about doing a home alone. Which is strange, considering which side of the home alone he's on. No one who's been stabbed by a long nail would pull that nail out, raise it above their face, and turn the pointy side toward their face to examine it. I realize you want to have a bowling ball slam this nail into this guy's forehead, but this is too far. You cheat it, movie. Also, I guess we're okay with this kid being a murderer. Thank goodness for Trudy, there's apparently a liquid adhesive in this attic that takes effect within three seconds of contact. She's getting so much third-party blood on her right now that I am medically concerned. All right, where the hell is it? The money's hidden inside. And how the merry f he f did he pull that off? We know that he got there today. So when and how did he manage to get to the safe, move all the money, and hide it out here without any of the house staff or family seeing him? Can he do the nose magic thing too? Somehow, them arguing about who he should shoot first ends up distracting him enough for the ladies to take him down. That is honestly shocking. But I'm ready for this to be over, so let's move on. You know what would solve the problem of their annoying arguing and have the bonus benefit of completing the job you were asked to do? Shooting them! It's supposed to be cathartic for these hostages to beat up on one of the robbers, but they should have realized they were going too far along before this poor bastard died. What the f***? Bloodlust shouldn't be so- Oh, I just remembered they're rich people. Well, it's nice to do something as a family for a change. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, beating a man to death has brought us closer together. We are bonding. It's a sudden gunfight and Jason's wife ducks down behind snow? And <laughs> it works as a shield? <laughs> Call it Christmas magic, but I'm calling it Christmas bullshit that he timed this so perfectly. Especially since he ends up on a snowmobile that he could have picked up to begin with. Oh, f off. There's no reason these two should be reconnecting right now. What the f has changed? 
If anything, she should be more mad at him for stealing all that money and putting their family at risk. Claus falls for this hook, line, and Santa. Why is Scrooge shooting from this far away? Why the fuck isn't he taking advantage of that huge crash and shooting him while he's down for fuck's sake? Shoot the claws! For some reason, I guess because he's the big bad, Scrooge lasts a lot longer against Santa than he should. How did he still believe? <sighs> no! Fortunately for Santa, this fight is taking place next to a convenient chimney, so he can use this very specific power to turn Scrooge into John Leguizanya. I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. Summing up the last one hour and 40 minutes in 11 words or less. Damn right it does. Dun dun dun, wait, what the f How did she sneak up on him while in front of him? We need to keep him warm. Ah yes, a warm fire. Famous for healing internal bleeding from multiple gunshot wounds and shattered spinal columns. Much better than calling him a fucking ambulance or doing even one step of first aid. I've lived longer than any man should ever live. Longer than Biden? We need to get him close to the fire. No, you need to get him closer to a medical professional. I'll always believe in you, Santa. I believe in him too. But you don't. You're clearly just trying to make Trudy feel better. You were dead. Uh, Christmas magic. Look, make up whatever bullshit magic rules you want, but I'd love something more than just six people saying I believe. What if there had only been five of them? And if there had been seven, could one of them chosen to abstain? It's Christmas Eve and there's a lot of boys and girls on the nice list that want their presents, you know. Yeah, but you should totally take a shower first, right? I don't think anyone will thank you for blood-stained presents. Pasta lasagna, don't get any on you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this, Ellen. Can I say butthole then? I mean, it's borderline. How about anus? <laughs> technically, yes. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Kill shot is in position. Whoa, kill shot? Yeah, I want to be kill shot. Then you are kill shot, dude. I love it. Babbo Natale, Père Noël, Chris Kringle. Papa Gijo. There it is! I have led you to it! Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Where's the money? Show me the money! Oh. I gotta watch. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast! <laughs>